हेलो ऑल नमस्कार होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड बेसिकली टुमोरो वी हैव यू पी एस सी 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 ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री प्रिलिम्स दिस वीडियो इज रिगार्डिंग सम लास्ट मिनट टिप्स एंड प्रैक्टिकल थिंग्स दैट वी कैन डू टू एंश्योर दैट वी कैन परफॉर्म इन आवर ऑप्टिम कैपेसिटी ड्यूरिंग द एग्जाम सी बेसिकली द थिंग इज दैट वेन वेन एवर द डेट कम्स नियर एंड नियर वी फील दैट ओके I haven't completed uh, what I had intended to complete the syllabus and all those things, and you feel very underconfident and think that uh, maybe this is not the year in which I can clear. See, this feeling happens with every single person. Everyone feels the same. Uh, it was me also when I was also appearing for the prelims. I too used to think that. So the this thing is very normal. Don't give much more importance to it. If you have studied well uh, during. Uh, the year if you have studied given ample amount of time ample amount of attention to everything then you will definitely be able to do good but the most important factor that i feel that makes a impact of game change a game changing that has a game changing impact in upsc is the calm and composure that you maintain throughout the exam for example let me say that when you see the question paper what happens you just glance through it if for the first in the first one or two papers if you find very difficult questions you think that okay i cannot do this but let me remind you there would be questions from uh, there would be easier questions if you can glance through the backward pages and all the last pages then you can see that there were, there were questions that you could have easily handled you might be thinking that this is a very cliche thing and you already know it but the thing i am just reminding you because this is the thing that what you say that leads to under uh, efficient performance by many of the aspirants who are uh, fully capable and uh, deserve fully uh, to be civil services just because of these things uh, they don't capitalize on their potential and are not able to score very good marks which they can do so the thing is that you have to keep the stress under control if you are not able to bring the stress under your control then it is very difficult now you will ask me how can we bring the stress under control see the thing why do the stress comes see for example if i will ask you uh, if the match if you if you are fond of very uh, if you are very fond of cricket i will ask you if there is a match in your street would you be so much tense you might not be okay it is a match okay every day i play let me play it now but if i'll say if it is a school competition match the stress level will increase if it is a district level match then again the stress level will increase in the state level match again the uh, things will increase why because it is it depends on the amount of attachment amount of importance that you associate with an event for example for the the normal uh, the state level match is much much more important than the uh, normal street level match so this is for this purpose that for the same thing we have made upsc exam like the most important part of our life till the moment you think the upsc is very most important part of your life and um, it is like something that is uh, what you say very sacrosanct and all those things i am not telling you to uh, reduce its importance but i want you to take control of your life never ever make upsc as your life upsc is always a part and parcel of your life upsc is never your life so that's why when you attach too much importance to upsc then it is bound that you will get panic tomorrow if you wrongly bubble one uh, om uh, one uh, question you will feel panicky like anything and you will do blunders that's why i am just telling you don't ever think upsc as your life upsc is always a part and parcel of your life you are much 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 more important than upsc or any other exam in this world you yourself are the most important asset in this world so never ever think that someone else will bring value to your life or something you might say it is very easy for me to say it after clearing this exam but the thing is that what i have realized and what i am realizing every single moment during this training phase is that uh, this service is not about you feeling privileged rather how you are making others life a privilege this is all about it so that's why i say there are other avenues also the thing is that i am not telling that you must give your psc exam with all the energy that you have but never ever think that this is the only thing that can help you in your life the thing is that what will happen at the most you will not clear the exam that's it but you have life if when you have life you can do n number of things i want you to detach yourself from giving so 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 much importance uh, to this exam that uh, it's like either upsc or nothing at all don't make it because when you will have that feeling that okay upsc is also like any other exam then you will perform very 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 well 
But if you make UPSC the exam of your life, then it, there are high chances that you might get panicked. Then your hands might get trembled. You will feel very nervous while filling the OMRs. Don't do that. Don't do that. Definitely don't do that. I always say, neither Mahatma Gandhi was a civil servant, neither Pandit Nehru was a civil servant, neither uh, other leaders, Abdul Kalam Saab was a civil servant. But yet they did very wonderful things. You too can do. So that's why don't make UPSC your life. It is always a part and parcel of your life. So detach yourself from the feeling that, okay, this is the thing and attaching so much stress to it. Now, another thing that I want to say is that never ever make the blunders that you can avoid. What are the blunders you will say? Like filling the OMR wrong. Never ever do that. Filling the roll number wrong. Never ever do that. Because the thing is that even if you like you have filled the OMR, okay, it's fine if you have made one question wrong. But the thing is that if you are getting around 20, 30 mark leverage, it will be reduced by 2 point something mark. But the thing is that by making one single question wrong, your confidence will go down like anything. That will be worth around 8, 7, 8 questions. So don't do all those mistakes. Even if you do, even if these mistakes happen, happen by chance, then don't get stressed over it. It's fine. You would have cleared by 20, 30 margin. It's now around 18 marks margin. That's fine. No issues at all. Never ever think that because the moment you get panicked, you will do more number of questions wrong and that will again be a panace or again be a burden on you. That's what that I wanted to say. Now, another thing that I want to, wanted to say is that the other type of blunder is that many times we uh, don't focus on the static part or the static part we run after current effects part. But like the, in the many topics like the, which are there in polity or history, there are repeated number of questions coming from the static part. Don't ever neglect them. It is okay if you make mistake in a question or if you don't attempt a question which others don't know. But it is a blunder if you make a question, if you make mistake in a question that everyone else is attempting correctly. Because that would definitely reduce your lead. Now again, having said all those things, I will say that what I have realized in my life that this exam is not at all, uh, is obviously an exam of knowledge and all. But this exam is much more an exam of mind. How calm and composed you are. If you are very much calm and composed, then definitely you will do very good in this exam. But the moment you get stressed, the moment you get panicked, you will underperform. That's for sure. Another thing that I wanted to say that many times it will happen that you would have planned to sleep by 7 tonight. But it will happen that you are in the bed awake till 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. You are not getting sleep. Don't think at that point of time that this year my UPS exam is gone. Nothing like that. It's fine. Okay, human body has so much resilience that it can work in very optimum capacity even if awake for one or two days. That's fine. We, we have our commandos doing fabulous jobs. You are also similar to that. So that's not the case. I will tell you my incident. It was for the first time when I cleared prelims in 2020. Uh, I was traveling from my uh, town. I left at around 2 o'clock in the morning. And I reached the UPC center very late, just 5 or 10 minutes before the closing time. And the whole uh, journey throughout the uh, cab, I was not sleeping. So I had also thought back then that, okay, this attempt is gone and all those things. But I cleared with very good margin. That day I had, I realized that whatever limitations that you think of yourself is a limitation of mind. But your body is capable of doing every single thing that you assign to it. So that's why never ever get panicked. If you are getting a sleep, good sleep tonight, that is the best thing. If you are not able to get a sleep tonight, very good sleep then don't, uh, what do you say, uh, feel guilty or feel that the, get a defeatist attitude that okay, my exam is gone. That is not at all the case. But I will say, try to sleep early because a cool and calm composed mind is the most important weapon that you can have in this exam. Another thing that I will like to say is that if I will ask you to pierce this, what you see, you can see a timetable over here. If I'll ask you to uh, shoot a arrow into this timetable, you will try to shoot. But assume if your hands are only trembling, with fear, when you are, I ask you to shoot this, then what will happen? The, you will definitely shoot an arrow, but that will hit somewhere else. Same is the case. If you don't have confidence on yourself, if you yourself are trembling that I cannot do it, I cannot do it, and you are entering the exam all in such a condition, then definitely you have accepted defeat before even entering into the battlefield. I would advise never ever to think all these things. You are much more capable than you think. You can do every single thing. And that is, that's all that I will say. And last few minute tips uh, please take some food items with you if possible see if it is available in the local area it is fine else you can take some chocolates or something 
take proper water because it is uh, summer season and you know if you are not de- uh, hydrated well if you are dehydrated then headache comes and when the headache comes it it it's like very irritating thing to have during the exam okay now another thing please plan your travel properly that is the most important thing go very comfortably while coming back okay if it is uncomfortable you want to come by something walking it is fine but while going go comfortably give proper amount of time don't neglect c set c set is going to be a game changer nowadays do proper c set revise very very important things which are on the predictable lines like the national park sanctuaries polity provisions uh, some important things those things are there and uh, don't stretch yourself much tonight i will say because the more amount of stress that you will put tonight to yourself Uh, subject yourself for tonight it might have a counter effect tomorrow that's all if you have studied well for the the uh, for the last few months or the years definitely you will be doing good but i will say uh, use common sense in upsc exam because uh, many a times without even knowing the knowledge you must be aware how the upsc has said the question paper um, how they are giving hint in every single question you can do it very properly that's all that i will say and uh, stay happy stay calm uh stay composed and uh, i will again say upsc is never 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 your life upsc is just a part of your life you are much more capable than anything you think about yourself you are the most important asset that's all that i will say and take care stay happy jai hind jai bharat do well give your best in the exam enter with a winning attitude that okay definitely i am going to crack this exam today and you will see that it will help you like anything and never ever feel that if if one paper goes wrong or there are some minor mistakes don't get uh, what you say uh, very 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 pathetic or very what you will say very disappointed over that because that's the life that's life you cannot say anything because if i'll tell you one incident the mumbai attack 2611 we lost many of our glorious officers if the whole morale of the police force or the nsg would have been would have come down just because of the death of these glorious officers the supreme sacrifice they made then we would have never been able, able to eliminate the terrorists that's life you we are bound to face uh, setbacks but that's the human attitude that we will bound over it and we will reach new heights and you all are capable of that this exam you are giving that you are applying you are appearing for this exam that shows the amount of resilience that you have do capitalize it well give your best don't think much about this exam just appear it as if it is a normal paper but with uh, be alert be cautious be vigilant and uh, uh, read the uh, the instructions properly like the correct non correct these all things and you will definitely do well don't take with yourself the burden that this is such a exam that exam this exam it will uh, in my opinion i will say again whole of the things that i have said it is in my opinion it might counter effective it might be it might be counter productive take care jai hind jai bharat all the best for the exam uh, my prayers and best wishes with you with all of you take care jai hind jai bharat namaste